saying one day, one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we love you. We need you desperately. And I pray tonight that you would receive the glory that all of our hearts would want to go deeper with you. God, we thirst and we hunger for more of you. God, in a nation, we've walked so far away from the truths of your word. God, I pray that we would stand, stand strong when you've called us to be as believers. God, we love you. We need you desperately every single day. And we're crying out for more of you, Jesus. And tonight, we want more of you here in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here, and we love you. We pray that you would move in the hearts of the people. God, we give you the honor and the glory and the praise forever and ever. And all God's people say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, it's difficult sometimes. This world is full of, of hardships and it's full of pain. And I'm looking around the world right now and friends of mine around the world being persecuted and some in prison for their faith. This is a reality that's happening. And I'm sure, as a lot of us feel sometimes, we just say, I, I don't think anyone understands what I'm going through. And that's pretty much a lot of a true statement. Because me personally, yes, I've, I've watched my wife suffer through cancer and she went to be with Jesus and that was the most difficult time of my life. When you go through that kind of pain, you find yourself at the foot of the cross, crying out to Jesus. And I'll tell you when it says that he's near to the brokenhearted, it's true, he's near to the brokenhearted. But here's the thing. I wrote a book a couple years ago just sharing my testimony and sharing in depth more of what God has done. And from that, many people have asked me and just said, how did you go through this? How did you go through this hardship? You know, you want to say the right thing, but like I said earlier, my pain is different than everybody else's pain. It's not going to be the same. Every experience is different. So, of course, I, I point him to God's word. I point him to the foot of Jesus. But I realized as I sat down and I was writing for this new record, and I said, God, give me a song. I felt like I still had a song. There's been so many songs that he's given me, but I still felt like deep down inside there is a song. Because here's the deal. In Hebrews 4.15, it says, For we have a high priest who can empathize with our weaknesses. The high priest is Jesus Christ. You see, when nobody else understands what you're going through, Jesus Christ, as he came down, the King of Kings came down and humbled himself, 100% man, 100% God. And he walked this earth and he wept. Mary and Martha were weeping over Lazarus. Everyone was weeping. He wept. His compassion came out. You see, he was tempted that he did not sin. He was betrayed by a friend. And those who said it was Anna to heal the highest one week said crucify him the next week. So I want to tell you that Jesus understands your pain. When no one else understands the hurt that you're going through, he knows.
Six to 